Well, activists back on the streets of Cincinnati tonight urging the Supreme Court not to get rid of Roe versus Wade. About 50 people gathered outside the Hamilton County Courthouse, just like they did last week, demanding legal abortion access for all. Local 12's Luke Jones joins us live now downtown with what those folks are saying. Luke, good evening. Good evening there, Adam, and a lot of disappointment today. First, over the failure of that Senate bill, which would have enshrined the right to abortion into federal law. Plenty of frustration directed at Senators Joe Manchin among them, and even a call today for the abolition of the U.S. Supreme Court. Roe v. Wade must be protected. For the second week in a row, Roe v. Wade must be protected. Demonstrators stood shoulder to shoulder outside the Hamilton County Courthouse, they're reacting to the Supreme Court's draft opinion overturning the landmark Roe v. Wade ruling. It would pave the way for states to outlaw abortion. I am really in favor of keeping my bodily autonomy and the bodily autonomy of everyone. This rally, about 50 people strong, was organized by the group Cincinnati Socialists. Abortion is health care. It's life-saving health care. It is a fundamental human right. A right, some say, is worth doing away with one of the country's oldest institutions to protect. And so if the Supreme Court won't serve us, we should abolish it. Abolish the court! Abolish the court! But Laura Streetman with Cincinnati Right to Life says what should be abolished are abortions themselves. It's been tried to be redefined for 50 years as a medical procedure. And it's not. It is not life-giving. It is life-taking. But were abortions banned, some fear it wouldn't end there. In a recent CNN appearance, Mississippi's governor wouldn't rule out banning contraceptives. That is not what we're focused on at this time. Streetman isn't taking a position on that either, but claims birth control only exacerbates the problem. It is because of contraception that people are having relations outside of marriage and the child is conceived because the contraception is not as effective as what they've been told. But back outside the courthouse, hey, what are we gonna protect? Roe v. Wade! Protesters are convinced their presence will be effective in swaying a few Supreme Court justices. Now they have two choices. They can either listen to us and follow what we want or they could not listen to us and we're going to take it anyway. And now Planned Parenthood plans to hold a separate rally this weekend. It's Saturday at 11.30 on Fountain Square. As for anti-abortion groups, they'll be taking part in their annual walk across the Purple People Bridge on June 5th. We're live downtown tonight. Luke Jones, Local 12 News. Luke, thank you. If Roe vs. Wade is overturned, fertility treatments could be illegal in some states, including Kentucky, Ohio, and Indiana.